Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to set up ISLC or Intelligent Standby List Cleaner to boost your FPS and get reduced latency. The first thing that we're going to do is download the ISLC application itself. To do that, just open up the link in the description of this video and it should take you to this website. On this website, you need to scroll down and click on the download ISLC here button. If you get a pop up ad, simply close it and now your download should start. So now we have downloaded the zip file. For me, it's an exe because I've got 7zip installed. Now all you need to do is extract the zip file. Once it is extracted, you're going to see these three files. First, double click on the ISLC file. Click yes. Now inside of here, you're going to see two boxes. So the first one, we're going to leave it to its default value. But for the second one, which is free memory is lower than we're going to set a custom value based on the amount of memory that our computer has. Now to find this value, what you need to do is first open up task manager. Here, click on the performance tab and then you'll see these three dots on the top right corner. Click on this and then click on resource monitor. This is going to open up the Windows resource monitor. Now inside of here, click on the memory tab. Then you need to click on this physical memory tab. And now inside of here, you need to see the value of the installed memory. So for me, it's 16384 megabytes since I've got 16 gigabytes of RAM on my laptop. So once you determine this value, what you need to do is open up your calculator. Now you need to divide the value of installed memory that you have. So 16384 by 2. Now this value that you get after dividing the total amount of memory by 2 is the value that we're going to paste inside of the second box. Once that that is done make sure that you check both of these boxes next inside of the wanted timer resolution you need to set the wanted value to 0.5 then first check the use global timer resolution requests box and once you check this box you need to restart your pc and once restarted you need to open islc back up and then click on the enable custom timer resolution box if you are on windows 11 make sure that you first check this second box restart your PC, then reopen timer resolution and then enable custom timer resolution. If you don't follow these steps, it is not going to work properly. Once that is done, you can click on start and we're going to leave the ISLC polling rate to its default value of 1000 milliseconds. You can simply just click on purge standby list a few times and now you'll see that the standby memory gets freed up and your free memory increases. With that, we have set up ISLC in the most optimal way. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel if you would like to get better fps and performance out of your pc or laptop you can check out the link to my optimization service in the description of this video also if you're suffering from high ping or internet issues i've also got network optimization services again the link will be in the description that is going to be it for today and i'll see you guys in the next one peace